So I just walked out the door to pick up the kids from school and look what was waiting for me. Hey, what's up? I won't get you on camera, I'll blur your face. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man, appreciate no it. Uh, yeah, for sure. My name is Joseph Serrato. I'm a saxophonist from Austin, Texas, and um, I'm here today to show you uh, the unboxing of this guy right here. This is the Nexus, Nexus Select Tenor. Yeah, so um, it got here today. Uh, I ordered it, I think I ordered it back in March and uh, super uh, excited. I was anticipating this for a while. And uh, so I'm glad you guys are here with me to share this experience of unboxing it, playing it for the very first time. Uh, and then I'll share my first impressions with uh, of the horn with you. Um, so yeah, just a little quickly about me. Uh, I'm, like I said, saxophone player here, been playing for a long time. Uh, play tons of different types of gigs from the corporate wedding band stuff to straight ahead and also have my own project, Jay Serrato Quintet. And uh, I put out a record, actually, coincidentally, the record dropped today. So I'll put the link for the record and uh, on all platforms, uh, Spotify, iTunes, uh, and here on YouTube as well. You can hear that uh, music. So yeah. My, my brand new record. So hope y'all can check that out too. All right, so let's get to the review. Oh man, this thing is super, super light. It doesn't weigh anything. And actually this in the box with all the packaging weighs probably maybe about the same or less than my horn in its case, just, just in its case. So. I think it's gonna be as light as they say. All right, it's pretty cool. And uh, my little girls are gonna like this part. All the peanuts, come on in. Get the Yay! peanuts. <laughs> So this is what you get. You get a big mess, which we'll clean later. Peanuts. Yeah. Straps. Yeah. And I'm not worried about the straps too much right now. Boots. And then you get this really nice case. And here's what it says here. Nexus Select. With some initials. And I think that's 047. I'm not sure, can't read it too well. You get a cool tag, and you can put your name and info on here for when you travel. Some really nice latches. This is a super high quality case. This is like as nice as it gets, pretty much. Cool, so it's hot in here, and it looks like I'm sweating. I am sweating, it's because our air condition went out today. And I would have filmed this earlier, but we've been dealing with getting the AC fixed. So in Texas, that's not too fun. All right, girls, y'all can play with that a little bit, okay? Okay. Right. When you're done with the label, Here we go. I ordered this back in April, or maybe it was March. So I've been waiting for a while for this. Because today is May 20th. And boom, dang. Okay, so a really nice case. Everything's in a plastic bag. And this thing is no joke. Oh, so it's got some key stoppers. Just get rid of those. That's pretty cool that they thought of that. For, for when it's traveling, you put the stoppers on the key so nothing is moving around. I think I missed one. Okay, cool. So I didn't see the stopper here at the very top. 
I was freaking out. Okay, so now it's working. Uh, so yeah, this thing, ergonomically, it feels really cool. Uh, it's just like they said, in terms of like how light and easy the action is, it feels like this horn's been played a ton. Uh, for me personally, I like the tension on the palm keys to be a little bit lighter, but that's just a personal thing. Overall, I mean, it still feels great. And I love how the palm keys fit my hand really well. Um, all my other horns, I have to add putty um, to get the, the space between my, my hand and, my, and the palm keys. But this pretty much feels right on the money, straight out of the box. So yeah, that's killer. Let's check out this neck. And I've never tried the Boston Sack Shop neck, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty much what they talk about. And I think one of the selling points was the angle of the this neck. And it does look quite different than a lot of the tenor necks that I see out there, just in kind of like it's a little bit lower of a curve than a higher curve. So I can't wait to see how that feels when we play it. I'm not super geeky about necks, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it plays great. I'm noticing little things like just how efficient the, the horn is. There's not a, a brace and there's not like any brace underneath here, which a lot, on a lot of horns you'll have some metal to reinforce the neck. Um, uh, there's not a, a screw, an extra screw for a liar or a place for a liar here. And uh, uh, it just feels very minimal overall, which I know they were going for in terms of how much this thing weighed. Uh, so yeah, let's put it together and start playing. All right, here we go, moment of truth. <laughs> different in my hands than um, my other tenor and I'm not warmed up so I'm not making excuses but I'm not warmed up it's new horn uh, I, I definitely don't you know not ready to just like you know shred or anything on it not that I could if, even if I tried or wanted to but uh, I like how free-blowing it is it's um, super uh, easy to, to get the sound out. I'm barely even pushing and uh, yeah, I, 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 I can feel how even the horn is from the top to the bottom. It's actually so like close and easy to play. I'm playing another like a like a, another modern horn. It feels like I have so far to travel, and uh, my hands are so spread out on that instrument. And this just feels like I. It almost feels like I'm playing my alto, like uh, really uh, close, and everything's just easy to play. So. I'm definitely gonna keep messing around with it. I have my first gig on this horn tomorrow, so I'll keep posting about like, you know, my experience with it. And, uh, but my first impression is, I'm really glad I bought the horn. I'll play around with this. I'm sweating like crazy, because uh, like I said, it's super hot in here. Um, but yeah, we'll keep playing. Keep playing around with it. <laughs> 
figure out some of the nuances of the altissimo I'm still fig I'm still getting better at altissimo as a player so I don't blame it on the horn for sure but I feel like I can kind of play around with some of the fingerings and get some things uh, figured out but overall uh, this is probably the easiest horn I've played on in a long time in terms of just them popping out without me trying or pushing or trying to do anything different here it's just really kind of coming out on its own. Uh, so that really makes me happy. The other thing that uh, I really had a problem with on my other horn was the front E was really sharp. It was like almost a half step higher than my regular side E. And uh, they definitely fixed uh, any issues with that on this horn. So you can hear. <laughs> really close in pitch. And uh, that's a game changer for me because on my other instrument, it was really uh, a drag. I would avoid that front E, out, that first front E altissimo because uh, it was just so hard to play in tune. I'd almost only go there if I wanted to kind of intentionally play stuff kind of out or sharp, like super. But for the most part, I just avoided that fingering on the, on the note, which is no fun. Anybody who plays uh, knows that already for themselves, but yeah. They definitely nailed it here on this horn. Okay, so overall, super happy with the instrument. It plays really easy and super free blowing. Uh, it took me a few minutes, a couple minutes to uh, understand that I had to actually fill this in horn up with a little bit more air because it could it could do more than I thought in terms of like how far I could push it. And um, I also got a bit of a dead read on here, but you know, even with that, it, it, it cuts really well and it's just very free blowing. Uh, the other thing I noticed in the middle of it, uh, of, of kind of just start starting to mess around here my first time playing the horn, uh, was how edgy and how much bite the horn has. Uh, maybe it's just, you know, kind of my setup, which I'm definitely going for that. And that's, that's what I've been trying to get in my sound. Um, uh, recently, lately, um, but this definitely has uh, makes it easy for me to get that. A lot of bite, a lot of edge um, on on this horn, but I can subtone and get a nice round sound as well. Um, so it's not like one dimensional. But if you want that real laser focus and edgy, uh, clear sound, then this this is definitely this is definitely the the, the one right here. So. Um, I think the other thing I, I noticed uh, just playing through it again, I got a long way to go, uh, but uh, figuring it, figuring out, um, you know, the, the nuances on this horn, but I'm really digging the, the, the action. The action is um, really all they said it was. I'm noticing the little attention to detail that they put in like the cork or the synthetic materials that they use to stop the keys. Very smooth, like super fluid, super smooth. When you press a key, you can just feel almost like a sponginess that feels really good on your hands and everything pops right back open. Um, so like, I'm not definitely not like a guy with a, a bunch of chops, you know, that's just not, not, not really 
that's something I'm still working on, not really my thing. Uh, I wish I could play like Chad Brown, but th that's the one thing. Buying this horn does not make you sound exactly like Chad Brown. So I'm, 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 I'm uh, exhibit A of that. But um, it, it's, it makes it feel like I can play a lot cleaner and easier with more ease and control than my other instrument. Uh, so definitely an upgrade for sure, for sure an upgrade. And um, yeah, yeah, I dig it. Yeah, real quickly about uh, the gear that I'm, I'm using, the setup. This is a Sios um, mouthpiece that's a custom mouthpiece that I, I had them design for myself. It's pretty edgy. It's very free blowing um, and bright. It's kind of what I was going for. It's exactly what I was going for. I really like it. Um, and uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a Sios and Boston Sack Shop reads two and a half. But kind of the last thing I think I'll say about the horn is um, I bought this instrument based off of uh, the reputation of of Chad Brown and uh, Jack at the Boston Sack Shop. So I'm um, just being a huge fan of, of Chad and somebody who, you know, like a lot of you out there buys all of his PDFs and, um, you know, watches all his videos. I was even a member of his online studio for a while. It was great um, studying with him. I, I learned so much um, fr from that experience. Um, but, um, I bought this horn, never played it, never tried it out. So I'm not, I usually like to play the horn before I, you know, decide to plunk down any money for an, an ax. But I, I bought this just on his reputation, knowing that he's not gonna put something out there with his name on it. That's not gonna be up to his standard. And I feel like, oh, low power mode. And I feel like uh, he definitely hit it right on the, right out the park. Uh, with this instrument um, and same thing with uh, with Jack and Boston Sax Shop I know how much um, integrity he has as a saxophone technician repairman and he's a great player so he wasn't going to put any stuff out there that wasn't up to his standards and I can say firsthand I have nothing to do with uh, Chad or, or Boston Sax Shop um, you know this is just my personal review but it's it's really it's really everything that they said it was, and uh, I'm really happy I got it. I'll keep posting videos uh, as I play gigs and as I'm shedding um, to keep everybody uh, you know posted and uh, keep you guys on this journey that I'm on. And I really feel like with this instrument, I'm I'm better equipped. I'm 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 better equipped to go out and and um, you know uh, develop my voice and and say what I want to say on the instrument. So. I guess I'll, I'll say thanks to Chad and, and to Jack for putting this, uh, this uh, together and uh, giving all of us the opportunity to play a really first rate instrument. So uh, yeah, like I said earlier, <laughs> I got no AC in my house, so I'm sweating like crazy. No AC in Texas is no fun, um, but um, I'm gonna play a little bit more saxophone and then I'll talk to y'all later. All right, peace everybody. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.